The Craig Adaptive Cutting System is capable of making a wide variety of cuts in solid wood and plywood. This versatility, along with the system's precision, makes it possible to do some things that you might not have been able to do before or that you might have struggled with. Here are just a few ways that the Adaptive Cutting System can help you take your project building skills to the next level. When you're building projects, if you have to measure and mark each cut individually, you're bound to have some slight variations no matter how careful you are. With the adaptive cutting system, you can eliminate those using the built-in cutting guides. It's as easy as locking in the dimension you need, placing a couple of Versa stops into the table to help support your workpiece, and then placing your board for the cut. A lot of project plans call for boards that are in standard dimensional sizes, like 1x2, 1x4, etc. But finding all the boards that you need for your project can be challenging, and the cost can add up. With the adaptive cutting system, you can make your own dimensional boards by starting with a wider board and then ripping it down into the narrower widths that you need. It's a really great way to make your own good-looking dimensional lumber. And you can do one other thing. A lot of times, Boards from the home center get banged around a lot, so the edges get beat up and dented. So the first thing I like to do is trim off just a little of that edge. Just place the board under the track, so just a little bit of the edge is sticking out. You don't have to be exact. I've got more board than I need here. I've got a Versa stop under that end to stop it from moving, and I'll bring in the repetitive stops just for some extra support. Dimension doesn't matter right now. Now, I'm ready to trim off this edge. got to pick that up. It's kind of cool that you can get that kind of result with the adaptive cutting system. All right, now with that edge trimmed, we're ready to make the dimensional sizes that we need. So now there's a nice crisp, smooth and straight edge on this board and I can set up to cut the materials that I need. I know that this plan calls for some one by twos, so I'm going to set the repetitive stops to an inch and a half wide. Just line up the arrow with the secondary tape on each one. Double check myself, good. Now, make sure that you're putting the edge you just trimmed under the track and against the stops. And for narrow cuts like this, where there's not a lot of board under the track, it's also a good idea to support the other edge of the track with a piece of scrap that's the same thickness. Now, I'm ready to cut. So, there's one. Make one more of those.
So now, got two really nice one by twos, and I also need some one by fours. Those are three and a half inches wide. Just change the position of the repetitive stops. It's really easy. Lock them back down. I want to make sure I get that cut edge back against the stops. And I'm ready to go. So with just a few cuts, got some really nice boards here. Made four boards in two different widths out of one. They've got really crisp, straight, clean edges, and I guarantee they'll look better than the boards I might have found in those sizes. And it's all easy with the adaptive cutting system. The great thing now is I can switch my setup and be able to cross cut all these pieces to the sizes they need to be. So a lot of projects being built these days in a rustic style, and part of the reason they're so popular is because you can make them from inexpensive construction lumber, two by fours, two by sixes, et cetera. But when you build with this construction lumber, you're kind of stuck with the way it looks. You've got the rounded edges, the gaps that show up in between, and if you want to butt pieces together, you're just always going to have that rough look. But with the adaptive cutting system, you can trim these boards down, get rid of the rounded edge, put a nice straight edge on them, and make them into much more beautiful boards. It's as easy as setting the rip width that you want. These are two by sixes, so actually five and a half inches wide. I'm gonna set to about five and a quarter. So just take off that edge. So just set the repetitive stops both at five and a quarter, and you're ready to go. There's one. And two. And you can see, you know, of course, going to have to sand and tune the boards up a little bit. But instead of this look with rounded edges and big gaps, you can get this look. Nice, smooth transition from board to board can make a beautiful piece of furniture out of that from ordinary construction lumber. One way that the adaptive cutting system really helps you take your project skills to the next level is that it no longer limits you to dimensional boards like you'd find in home centers. Now you can use high-end hardwoods like cherry or oak or walnut. These usually aren't sold in dimensional sizes, they're sold in random widths and lengths. And with the adaptive cutting system, you can use these boards now because you can rip them to any width you need. You can cross cut them. You can do all of the things to make custom boards out of any lumber that you want. And that definitely opens up a whole new world of project possibilities and takes you to the next level.